damit anfangen in The host of this evening's book presentation introduces his guests. Ich beginne mit dem Herrn in der Mitte, der ihn nicht But Hasso Plattner needs no introduction. The SAP co-founder is on a mission to revolutionize the world of information technology. Fast alle Dinge des täglichen Lebens. Almost everything in our daily lives. Wherever we use computer programs is an interaction between man and a system. This is where I believe we have a sound opportunity for improvement. To tailor our work to people and in general, to give greater attention to their needs. We should be doing more than just providing what is technically possible. Platner is a man of action, not just words, and has set up the Hasso Platner Institute for Software Systems Engineering to train computer scientists. The look and feel of the place are more reminiscent of a commercial company than a university campus. It may not be wall-to-wall -wall science here, but the absolute priority is a scientific education geared to the requirements of industry. The institute director cannot overstate the importance of providing students with the expertise required to develop highly complicated software systems. We have to give our young people the right training, not only here at the Hasso Platner Institute, but at all the world's computer science institutes. You have to educate the students, and that requires working very closely with people in industry, with government bodies, and with healthcare services that use really big IT systems. The networks and connections at the institute's disposal are the envy of other colleges, and also give it extra appeal to the commercial sector. The institute has excellent technical facilities, as well as ample support and mentoring from staff. Graduates can look forward to top jobs in the IT world. Considering what we've achieved so far in group projects, I doubt I would have managed that at a regular university or with a regular computer science degree. The institute was set up in 1998. But more recently, its founder went a step further by setting up the School of Design Thinking, importing a new concept from the U.S. The idea brings together multidisciplinary teams that might even include lawyers, theologians and IT experts. They're encouraged to think outside the box and collaborate on developing new products. It's a different setup to practice in industry where things are run along the hierarchical lines. Groups are supposed to freely associate, but ultimately they all have their own hierarchies. The first step is liberating ourselves from these hierarchies. Anyone can be a designer or make a contribution. It's pretty radical. Students are encouraged to get actively involved. A team from the School of Design Thinking presents its ideas for virtual purchasing. This student describes his team's efforts as they worked on a solution for replicating the shopping experience in a supermarket. They developed a shelf that presents products like in a store display. Platna is now involved more or less full-time in the education sector. Does he find the work more fulfilling than running a major company? There's a freedom here you can't even afford in a small company. The scale is similar, let alone at a major corporation. It's a rather lonely job. Here it's a question of being just one person in a group, and that's really a lot of fun. Platna has also set up a similar school at Stanford University in California. So the global dimensions and potential of the concept of design thinking are clearly not to be underestimated.